Hello everyone, I'm the EG. Today I'll be teaching you how to speed with the man from the window. Now, this game is quite simple. You can beat this game in less, well I say, than less than 51 seconds as an estimate. If you were to get very lucky. And I quote, very lucky. Um, the current world record for this game is held by me, done today actually, of um, just a few milliseconds off previous world record. But... I'll be teaching you guys how to speedrun every single category. There should be timestamps in the uh, video. Without further ado, let's begin. When you hit start, it'll automatically send you to this menu. You will want to hit X to skip this cutscene. If you hit yes, you will have to deal with, I would say, about a minute and a half. Wait, like a 30 second, a minute, a minute and a half long cutscene. So, um, yeah. Also, I highly recommend getting a mouse and not using a uh, mouse pad on your keyboard or touchpad on your keyboard for your speed running because it's going to be a lot harder to use the buttons on there than using it on the mouse. Mouse is quite easy. Also, time begins when the white dot appears or your cursor appears. So time would have begun now. What you want to do, and I highly recommend it, is left clicking on Junior here. You want to hit follow me. And then you want to turn around and move the couch. Also, this current one will be any percent. Then you want to sp also, WASD is to move, shift is to sprint, and tab is your circling around items. Once you're done over here, you want to come to over here and go to this donut box. Skip through the dialog with left click and hit open the box. Then you want to move to the slightly to the left and hit the keys. You'll pick up the keys. Then you want to hit tab twice, which will get you the keys. You want to lock this front door. Then you want to mash E until you're at the second to last page. You could also go to here. So like this game is on a random seed basis so that my, wherever the man goes his hiding spots will always be different they're usually different so like here will be the sink and the end will end up with the bathtub this one will be different for the next one so it's pretty simple it's a pretty simple mechanic but very annoying for speedruns the place under the mirror is where he will search is the um, is the sink. He will now check the place under the place, or he will now check under the place where bread is broken is the table. Next, he will look under the place where you have often rest. Soon, he will check inside the place which is cold. Next, he will check the place which holds water. All of this. All of those are the hiding spots. Now here's a little cool trick that you can do. You want to open this door, tab, lock the door, close the door, and then hit the and then hit the sink. I didn't get it. It's easier to do it unlocked. Whoops. But you can also do this. It's faster to close the door and put him in the sink. So if you ever have this hiding spot with the sink, also I'm pretty sure that, uh, well actually that was the first hiding spot, which does suck, but that's okay. So then once you're done in there, you want to lock the door, and then go to here, lock this door, and then go to the hiding spot. Usually it'll be the table in most world record runs, and the fastest way to reset is always and always going to hitting escape and then hit exit game and then yes and then reopening the game this is the fastest way to reset and is by far faster than skipping the cutscene and the open and uh, any bad runs so then the next category death percent so depending on your character is a little tricky. 
Death Percent Mama is quite simple. You just want to go to here and go to the first hiding spot. So like the bed here, you want to move Junior. You definitely want to grab Junior right away. So it's definitely recommended to just start off. No. It's definitely recommended to start off and then hit Junior here. Are, are, you, are you actually kidding me? Anyways, then the hiding spot that you want to go to. It's, I would say it's definitely faster for this run to literally just go to put Junior in the fridge and then go to here and then pray that he goes to the fridge first for Junior or the table first for Mama. Well, right here I have the bed, so I can't really do much about that. Death Percent Junior would pretty much end up here. I forgot, to be honest, I did kind of forget. Also, I would like to mention something very important. Every hiding spot, different characters can hide. Or the M Mama and uh, Junior can hide in different hiding spots. The bed, only Junior can hide in. The sink, only Junior can hide in. The tub, Mama and Junior can hide in. Junior can hide in everything, but Mama can only hide in the tub and under the table. So I'm just going to hide in the wash tub, keep the door open, because I say screw it. And then obviously you want to mash left click through any of this dialogue. I should have probably put Junior under the bed. But once Junior dies in the line, the man has found his new friend, dot dot dot, ends. And then obviously you can exit game after that. You don't have to set through the cutscene. As long as that line of dialogue is over, voila, you've done your speedrun. Death Percent Mama is a lit. It's a lot trickier. So of course, obviously, you want to hit left click on Junior. And then you want to hide where the first hiding spot that you can hit is. Unfortunately, I didn't get a good run. So, you always just want to hide in either... The it's definitely recommended for the speed run. If you have the fastest route, go to here, pick up Junior, and then go right... Put him in the fridge and put go in under the table and pray. Pretty much any game or any category has this. That's about it. So, yeah. The next hiding spot... Is going to be. Um, I'm also going to be skipping over blindfolded. I'll be doing another video on blindfolded. All categories percent literally just means to do every category, no miss or misc. So just do death percent and then death percent and any percent. For that game, or for um, all categories percent, you must do the miss categories and death percent separately. Obviously, you will die doing death percent. So the next category I'll be doing, or covering, is, uh, Donut Percent. Obviously, the fastest way of doing it is literally just going behind and hitting Eat the Donuts for Mama. It's unbelievably quickly. So, um, yeah. The fastest way of doing it, in my opinion, would either wait, would have to be so. Once your game starts, I recommend once you hit X, I recommend holding D and Shift down. Definitely recommend it. And then hitting backwards and turning around at this moment, and then hitting this. Literally anything else is not just as fast. I'm not actually sure if this is faster. Wait, no, yeah, the way that I just showed you was faster. Now I'll be showing you, um, Donut Percent the Man.
So this one's pretty simple. You just have to have the man eat the donuts. And once the line of dialogue that shows that he eat, ate the donuts, it took a minute for the man to eat the donuts. Occurs. Once that line's over, boom. So you want to start off by holding, or by looking left and hitting junior. You want to hit follow me and then look, oh, and then go this way. Go on this side, the opposite side of where junior is. And then go to the donuts, open them up, and then send junior into the fridge. This is the best spot to do, obviously, because it's the closest junior spot. And then put mama under the table. And then you obviously want to skip over all this dialogue. The men took an entire minute to eat them all. Also, I just realized that I hit the wrong dialogue. The man noticed the donuts on the table. Also, I'll be removing my lab split from the... Uh, OBS. That's literally um, what you want to do. Unhidden percent I won't be covering because we don't know how we're going to set that category up yet. We already have the rules, just get the unhidden ending. It's pretty much um, nothing percent, but you actually have to do something. Then hide in the bathroom. So now we're going to be doing chair percent, which is quite unbelievably easy. For starters, you literally just want to move backwards and then hit this left chair. And then hit move the chair in front of the door. And then once that and then once that line of dialogue ends, voila. It's over. There's also something cool that you can do where you can actually stand on the chair. By standing right around here, you can actually just stand on the chair, which is actually pretty cool. So that's chair percent. Next I'll be covering couch percent. Couch percent's current world record is 4 seconds and 751 milliseconds done by yours truly, where you literally just move the couch. So what you want to do is you want to immediately turn around in the de direction that you really want to. I definitely recommend doing a lift. So like this. Voila. Also I don't know what that dialogue did. That's glitchy dialogue. And then once that line of dialogue ends, voila. I, I gonna I actually don't know how that happened. But yeah, that can happen. Alright, so next what you want to do, or the next category I'll be covering is door percent, done by yours truly in 15 seconds. This category is so unbelievably simple, it's ridiculous. Just lock all the doors. The front So you wanna immediately just hold D and shift and then go to the keys and pick them up as quickly as possible. Then hit tab twice, lock the front door, and go to the bathroom door, lock it, and then the bedroom door, and your time ends there. It's so unbelievably simple. I'm probably resetting some very good runs, but I don't care. Next is story percent, which is done by me in three seconds. The task of probably do it in less than a second. So all you have to do is just read the book. You just have to read through all the pages. So just mash E and voila. Also, I'm going to keep hitting exit game just to freshen it up. And then nothing percent is so, so unbelievably simple. I don't need to show you anything. Do not touch anything on your keyboard and back up. Maybe get a snack and time begins right there. Do absolutely nothing. You can't even hit escape. I definitely recommend going to the bathroom before this room. Maybe even during the beginning, once you start. Because you can't do anything. The only thing that you can do is the dialogue. Voila. That's the run. 
So, um, yeah, that about covers it. Is there anything else that I miss? Death percent. Blindfolded, I'll do in another video. That one's going to be a little tricky. We're still coming up with a um, route for that one. Donut percent. Oh yeah, long run percent. Long run percent, I'll just do here. So you can pick every category on the leaderboard. For long run percent. All you have to do is pick the category that you want to do. You can do literally every category on here except nothing percent. So on blindfolded, you can pick any category that you want. But the problem is, not all the categories are here. Long run percent and nothing percent is on blindfolded. And then long run percent blind. I think blindfolded is on long run percent, right? Surprisingly, it is. That won't be anymore, but, um, long run percent, you have to constantly be moving and be as slow as possible. Time begins once you hit X, and not, or once you hit yes. Boom. Or actually, no, once your cursor begins. Nothing percent. I know. Yep, sorry, um, the white cursor. Once that appears for every game, or every game category, voila. Your run begins right there. If you escape during it, that does not count onto your time. And that's about it, actually. There's nothing else I really need to explain. I do know all categories percent, but we're also coming up... Well, I mean, all it is is just all the categories combined. You can do your own order. So, yeah, that's about it. That's all I can pretty much cover. Sorry about that. And um, I'll see you in another video.